Uh, hello, everyone. My research is on modeling the uh, formation of blood vessels. So blood vessel formation happens uh, everywhere in the body at different rates. One common way that this happens is via a signal that is produced somewhere in the body, and blood uh, vessels eventually sense the signal and start sprouting in a general direction. So uh, this is usually the most common way that this, is, that this happens. However, this also happens increasingly when there is a blockage, such as uh, is shown here. When there is a blockage, the, the body can no longer transport the oxygenated blood that it desperately needs to a certain region of the body. So the body has to now create its new path. Uh, like I said, the body does this naturally all the time, but these effects are most disastrous when we examine different parts of the body, such as the heart. Now, heart attack is a very serious issue. And if you are unable to provide oxygenated blood to these regions, then these cells start to die and you eventually suffer multiple heart attacks and eventually lose your death. Now, I'm in the business of preventing death and I don't want anyone to suffer from this. So what I do is I study these cell types I study how they work, how they interact with each other, and mostly I study if we can figure out a way to better grow them to, such, to develop those tissue patches, to develop those other technologies that you need to fix all of these issues. Now, in my research, I observe the type of growth and the type of in, uh, microenvironments that these cells live in, and I sit down in front of my computer and I develop a model composed of equations that govern the growth of these cells. And the idea is that through this process and through the successful development of this model, we will develop a recipe that we can then go into the lab, you know, put together and grow a physical 3D rendition of what these vessels should look like, taking into account, you know, strength, diameter, and flexibility. Somebody later down the line can then use this technology and replace these damaged vessels wherever they may be throughout the body. Hopefully, soon, because nobody should have to live multiple heart attacks.